Hello, hello, and welcome back to Spiritfarer. I don't have to introduce this game because you should have been watching all the episodes that I've put out so far. I don't know what I'm on, five, six, seven, who knows? Uh, but we're going to continue. I want to build a sawmill, uh, but first we're going to head on down and take care of these. That was weird. I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to take care of this. Uh, but yeah, I need to build a sawmill. And the only thing I did off camera quote unquote was I went ahead and actually um just got a lot more linen from the loom because I didn't have enough of that to do the sawmill so now I do so now I just have to go and get some logs so we're gonna go head to some island somewhere so we can cut down some trees and get the logs we need I could also buy them but I don't want to do that because you know I don't want to spend any glimpse right now I don't have that many. It's kind of like in real life, you know? Morning! Hugs for Uncle... Oh, you don't need hug? I wish it would show when they need a hug the same way that it shows when they need food. Unless it does, and I just haven't noticed. There you go, Unc. All right. So, ding, ding, ding! Everybody up! Okay, we're gonna head over to... Whatever's over here. Oh my god, this is... Whoa. Are you kidding me? Is there actually content that far in? Well, you know what? Let's head right in here. Maybe we'll find another island. Who knows? But exploration is the name of the day, folks. Oh, somebody's... What? Who wants something? Oh. Oh. There's a serious... Oh, yeah, you know what? If you say that to me one more time, Uncle... <laughs> yes. Stella! Stella, I've got to tell you. There was something I stumbled upon some time ago, and up until now it didn't seem that important. Brace yourself. Remember my parents' manor on the lake? As weird as this sounds, it's not too far from here. Yes, I know. It makes me wonder about this world, too. I must admit, I've been actively trying to avoid it. At any rate, it's become hard to ignore. As I've spent much time with you here, I think I'm ready to tackle this challenge. I'll probably only find regrets and sorrows there, but it's worth a shot. I've added the location to your map. I'll be ready whenever you are. Oh? What is your probs? Okay, so she doesn't need a hug. She does need food, so let me give you some of this. Oh, I forgot. You can't eat. I already gave you that. So just have some coffee. No, you know what? Do you want some shrimp cocktail? This is absolutely exquisite. Worthy of the best fine dining restaurants I've been to. And I've been in those a lot. Thanks a lot. No problem. I just want to make you happy. Again. Here we are again. The jellyfish are stealing all the light. As they've stolen all hope for me. I never get used to it. And a part of me makes me think it's all my fault. All right. You can do your thing again. Are you up for it? Uh, I don't, I don't feel like it right now. Let's just wait it out. Yeah. All right. There we are. What's, what is this? What's over here? What's happening over here? Hmm? What is happening in the direction we're sailing towards? That's a bit ominous, but fine. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, ba -da, ba -da. Good morning. Hug for you, my friendly snake. And then some vegetables for you too. Do you like fruit? You said you like dessert, right? Oh, you're not hungry. Okay. Unc, are you ready to eat again? Not yet. Okay. Did I hug you, Unc? No, I did not. Ah. <sighs> Nice. Yeah, like, see, I wish it showed that they need a hug, but whatever. Whatever. Ooh. Ooh, stuff looks really smoky and wispy and whoopy doo. Gonna try to <laughs> reel something in here. Maybe I'll get something unique. Ooh, this area is quite misty. I can't see anything. 
No, it looks like we're still moving. Are we? I can't even tell. Let's see where we are. Oh. Okay, so I guess I can't get through there because of whatever's going on. All right. So now I know. I guess I need like a more powerful Everlight or something in order to go that way. No problem. That's what you do. You learn when you explore. Well, that's all I can plant right now. Oh, cat! I just realized I haven't given you your love for the day. Come here. Come, come here. Oh, wait. Oh, there's treasure or something. Wait, what is that? What is that? Treasure! Tre get! Oh, God. Okay, fine. Fine. There's hugs for you now. But now it's time for treasure! No! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out. Down, 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 down. Where was it? I saw a thing for treasure, yeah. Okay. It's over here somewhere. Oh, there. Stop it. Oh my god! I didn't know you could find, like, upgrades. Well... Hi. Oh, here's some food. I didn't mean to click on you, but I know you're hungry, so just take it. Okay. Alright. <sighs> That's amazing! Now, I think I got soul for the first time. Yes. I don't know why I got it, but it's nighttime. We're going to continue our journey. I must asleep. Come on, cat. Time for Betty Bye. And I love that I can just easily traverse around the ship so that it doesn't feel like a slog going and doing all these things. This game is just so perfect so far. So absolutely perfect. I love it. Yum, yum, yum. Let's get this. Let's go here. Let's go back to Bark and Shime Creek and just get some more uh, maple logs so I can build a sawmill and then we'll head on over there. Oh, huh? he's just fixing things. Oh, good. I'm at the island. Okay. So now, let's go out here and uh, get some stuff. Oh, yeah. A little hug for you. Okay, let's go. Let's be out. Oh, this game's kind of making me tired. Look at all these trees. Why are you here, Uncle? I'll be picking up some wood. Hoping to do some work on these later. Okay. Great. Get some raspberries. All right. Time at a chap at a tree. Okay. Bye. 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 Timber. Nice. Some of that. Oh. Maybe that. I almost missed that. One more. Get 
guess that's all I needed there. I'm gonna go ahead and build the uh, sawmill. I'll see you back on the ship, Uncle. All right, so I think that's all I needed to build this sawmill. Oh, I can build a foundry too, but all right. Yes, I have enough. God, I have more than enough. And we're gonna, we're just gonna put it right on top. Oh, like right there. Let's go check it out. Oh, well, actually let's water our stuff first. Cat, you scared the living daylights out of me. Running up behind me like that. Boop, boop. One for the money. And two for the show. All right. Woo! Piash. Hey, Uncle. Wow. This looks amazing. It really does. Thank you for helping me out, Stella. This sawmill is so big. What a beauty. There's just one problem. Now don't get mad. I don't have any money to repay you. Guess that's why they call it a favor. You see what I did there? <laughs> Thanks again, Sprout. Oh. All right. You're very happy. Oh. Can I use it? Yeah. Heavy logs from a maple tree. Okay. Finalize. Okay. Oh my god. You're doing it all wrong. Well, what? What am I, what? What am I doing? Let me give you a hand. When you're cutting logs, you need to make sure your measurements are accurate. Yeah, but I didn't know how to cut. Oh, studying the cutting line. Okay. And a hit from the old hammer for good luck. Give it a try now, you rascal. Okay. So I put it in here. Uh, I just put it in there, and then I do that. Oh, I see. Oh, I didn't know how to move that thing. That's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> Would you look at that? You did great. You're ready to start cutting wood like a champ. Just remember to be careful with this sawmill. Don't go mess around with dangerous saw blades. Just because you've got leftover wood doesn't mean you should cut your hand off. All right. This is amazing. All right, let's do this again. Finalize. Okay. Oh, that's tricky. Sawdust and maple plank. So I'm guessing if I do it perfectly. Oh, which I just did. What did I get? Oh, I got four maple planks. Wow, this is so dope. Okay, who's uh, calling me now? Oh, let me get this food. What was I making? Oh, just grilled veggies. Um. Oh, sawdust. What can I make out of that? I don't know. We'll find out, though. <laughs> okay. Sprout, what's up? You've been chopping it up in the sawmill. I like it. Get in the work done. Learn a new skill. Now that you've got some materials, maybe you could build me a house? Let me sketch something real quick. Look, it's nothing fancy. It's pretty basic with just a few hinges here and a few nails in there. Oh, you've already got some materials to build me something nice. I'm asking not only for me, but for the crew. Apparently, I snore at night. Loudly, according to your friend Gwen. Adel's workshop. Okay. What? As you know, I tend to get hungry. That's just a fact of life. Sometimes when I do, I get hungry for really specific things. Your Aunt Viv would call it laser-focused tummy. Don't get me wrong. I'll still eat pretty much whatever you put in front of me. I'd just like for you to put effort into this one. I'll give you a shout when I get a craving. Hopefully I won't ask for anything too extreme. You never know with this appetite. Fair warning, Sprout. Oh. Okay. Well, thanks for giving me a heads up, I guess. All right, so looks like I made enough planks, I think, to be able to build. Yes. So your house uh, gonna go. Oh, I don't want to ruin. I like this being here, but since I have, 
so much room. We might just do it up real high like that. <laughs> Which is insane. Okay. Kitchen can stay down here because that's, you know, important. Um, because I'm always cooking. But then... Now... Yeah, let's just put it above the kitchen. I think that makes sense. For somebody who loves food as much as he does. Let his house be right above the kitchen. Uncle, you don't want to go inside your new place? Oh, this is cute. I'm sure Uncle will have something to say about it in the morning, so let's just go to sleep. Ah, now it seems like Uncle has something to say. There you go. Would you look at that? It's perfect, Sprout. It's massive. All this room for little one me. I can't wait to catch some shut-eye. This is really great. Thank you so much. I won't forget this. Oh. Yes. What's up? You know me. I could always go for a little snack. Something salty. Something buttery. Something with flavor. Oh, jeez. You know what would be just perfect? A big old bag of popcorn all to myself. Okay. Well, I think I already have some. Wait, what is give? How come I can give you things? Oh. I couldn't give things before. Okay, well, let's uh, let's do this. Let's feed you first. Because I do think I've got popcorn. There you go. Mm, that really didn't fill me up. However, it did make me miss my kids a whole lot. I used to make bags of popcorn on movie night for them. Even with the TV turned up, you couldn't hear the actors talking. The crunching was so loud. It was the only way to calm those little monsters down. Watching these terrible kids' movies. I wish I was still there. To see them laughing. For them to fall asleep on me. Thank you for this popcorn. I was looking at your kitchen yesterday. It's fine. Nothing special. Reminds me of my first kitchen. In my terrible apartment. I didn't know what I was doing in there. I was so careless with the spices. Not enough salt. Anyways, here's a little something to brighten this mess up. Don't worry, it's not a spice rack. You'll need to actually work for it. But it'll be worth it. Just improve your kitchen with some extra oven space. Your kitchen will be looking just right in no time. Aw, oh, thank you. Oh. We discovered Gureno Fields, which is absolutely lovely. I'm not going there yet, though. Uh, can I, can I talk to you right now? Oh, wait, no. Are you inside or out? No, you're, you're out. Oh, how come I can't give you anything now? That's weird. Okay. Fine. Whatever. All right. Hi, Gwen. Hi. I don't remember what your name is. Would you like a hug, though? I was just calling you Snake. Don't you feel better now? Don't you feel better? Why? Oh, Summer. That's your name. Okay. All right. So I think I'm going to end the episode here before I go into the Gureno Fields or whatever it is, because that looks like something that might be really interesting since it was a mystery marker. And then also going to Gwen's old villa, which I don't know what that's about. I don't know why that's in this world, but this is really interesting that it kind of started off with these very vague references to their history with me, but now they're all kind of getting really deep and personal about whatever their life was like before they died. And it did bring me back to the fact that, yeah, this is still a game about me ferrying the dead into the afterlife. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to have to help them all kind of like fulfill their last request or whatever so that they can pass over peacefully. But there's just so much to explore here. The map is so big. I don't know how many spirits I'll get to have and I don't want to know. So nobody spoil it for me if you do find out. Uh, I'm just excited to continue playing this. So if you're excited to continue watching it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I'll be back very soon with another episode of Spiritfarer.